So welcome back to this tutorial. In the last tutorial, we saw how to read an image and then normalize it and then show the image on the display screen. In this one, we are going to see how to remove the skull from the image. This is an important step when we are dealing with cross-sectional images of the brain. So to do that, we'll be using the ROI poly function. So for that, we will first type mask is equal to ROI poly and then press control enter. So this is what happens. We can see that this figure is being shown to us where we have to select the area of interest which is required. So using the cursor, I'm going to select points around the brain tissue So we'll use multiple points so that we cover the entire brain tissue and not the skull in the image. So once all the points have been selected, I have to obviously close the polygon. So when I reach the last point, there's a black circle which appears in the image. So after clicking on the last point, the polygon is completed and instead of moving the mouse, now we will right click and select create mask. So this creates a matrix of the mask as we can see here. So basically the mask has all the values from zero to one. So basically the black areas being zero and one being the white areas to visualize the mask itself we can use the i am show mask function and then press ctrl enter so as you can see this is the mask in which the black areas are zeros and the white areas are one and we are going to use this mask to remove the skull and extract the brain tissue so as you can see, we have written this code I norm is equal to I norm dot multiply mask. So what this line of code means that we are updating I norm, multiplying it with a mask. And this multiplication is not vector multiplication or matrix multiplication because there is a dot before the multiplication symbol. And this means that this is an element wise multiplication. So in the last line I will write I am show I norm and press control enter and as you can see this is the image that we can see without the skull so the brain tissue has been separated as you can see this was the image which had the skull and now this image is now being seen without the skull so we have finally removed the skull from our image and it is ready for processing Similarly, we can also choose or we can also select a tumor from our brain tissue. So I'm going to use the mask is equal to ROI poly function. Uh, before, and then I'm going to load the image in my I norm matrix with the mat to gray function. So I norm is equal to mat to gray bracket IMG. And then I copy the code from the previous instance so i norm is equal to i norm dot multiply mask and then i am show bracket i norm so we'll press control enter and as you can see we get this figure on our output window and then using the cursor i am going to select a polygon around my tumor just like we did in the previous case so when i reach the end point I will get a black circle so when I complete the polygon I get the black circle I right click and then choose a create mask so as you can see the I am show function here shows the element wise multiplication of the inorm image with our mask so basically this creates 
or isolates the tumor from our brain tissue and it can be seen so it is now ready for any kind of image processing that we want to do so i hope you like this video we'll see you in the next one